Hey, all Dr. Distagio in the house. Dr. Distagio, who's that? Well, I'm coming with you at a new series here. I've never been a fan of just the rate my base. Where it's like, oh, do this, do that, and just look at a base. You, you never know. You can never give good advice to someone unless you really, really see their account and see exactly where they're at, what they're struggling with, what troops they're using. Like here, training center on this account, you can see we have everything researched of the tier one troops to five star. That's, in my opinion, not something ideal. You'd pick, typically want to pick two of the center, one of the two center paths, Hunter, Centaur, Shotgun, Dwarf, Pyromancer, Griffin, Fairy, Dragons, and you want to go with them all the way down to the bottom. It's also excellent, excellent, good idea to have Guardians up to five star, and I'll explain more why here. Anyways, so I've hired up, even though Griffins are higher level, I've still hired up Centaurs in all my camps. You can see that they're building their level three Centaurs, three star Centaurs, which are uh, actually still fine. And then you also want to see, well, what heroes do we got going on in this account? So you see we got Paladin, Ninja, in terms of Legendaries, Druid, and Executioner. We got Assassin, that's kind of a high level. I'm going to skip some of these ones that aren't good for here. Be Monsters are raiding. Cyclops is excellent. And you want to look at all their talents here. I've looked at these talents. There's nothing extraordinary here. Engineer, now here's one that's underutilized. We're going to take Engineer to the next level. And I will show you something here. And we're going to look at then what's on the bases here. So you can see we got Assassin, Ninja, Druid, Executioner. And what we don't have on these camps, our shortfall in this account, the downfall of this account right now, is for Here Be Monsters, is there's no area of effect. There's no heroes that are standing on altars right now that are area of effect. And also, is this the best base, this diamond base? Is this base good? Now, I've recently come to the conclusion that the diamond base is not the best base. Did you hear that? Diamond base is not the best base when you have a level 13 town hall. Okay. By the way, this account, we are going to want to get this up to 14. I am not going to level this up right now, but that is something I would suggest for this account at some point in the future. We do have relic call at level 11 or higher. That's okay. 11 is what you want because it opens up the third spell slot, which I have Arrow Rain in there right now. Restoration Ari's Fervor is the first two you want to take to five, and then you want Guardian Angel to three, and uh, you do not want Windstorm, anything above one, or Meteor, or Disaster, or anything like that. <laughs> Arrow Rain to five. Now, that's an interesting one. Uh, people say, oh, Arrow Rain's great early, and then it starts to get terrible. I do disagree with that. I think Arrow Rain, Rain is actually decent. <laughs> yes, you heard it here. This D Dirty Destagio uses Arrow Rain, and I'm going to show you why we're going to use Arrow Rain. And, uh, yeah, then we can also see how well this account does in the arena. Now, the good news in the arena is that we do have a couple high DPS, high burst damage heroes in the form of Ninja and Assassin, who I'm, I'm always going to start at the back, and then I'm going to put Paladin up in the front. And Druid is a little level. I have to scroll all the way over here to get Druid. And I'm going to put Druid in the middle. And then I'm going to take Executioner. And I don't know. So you can see that it's basically farming B, right? It's up to C4. It can't beat C. It has never beat C. There's I got six Here Be Monsters, and we're gonna we're actually gonna convert this account to be farming Here Be Monsters C, not farming B. Why farm B when you can farm C? I got the best base for farming C. This is the perfect account. This is the perfect account to show you exactly how that's gonna be. I'm gonna reform this ba base using high speed video. But before then, I'm going to show you how to hyper level Druid. All right, so we got a Druid level 40 uncapped, ready to go to 60, and Lighten as a talent. So that's going to make leveling a little faster. And to do that, so do I have enough centaurs cooking? Yep, I got enough centaurs. So here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to go to Dungeons, Dungeon 2, third one in. Okay, I've showed this in one video before. But this is awesome, and I found a new entry point here, guys. You don't, you don't even want to know how many times I've done this dungeon, by the way. I'm going to drop only my centaurs in. I'm going to start slow clicking, get them in, and then I'm going to drop the whoever I want to level. Now what's going to happen is this dungeon gives an inordinate amount of XP per its difficulty, meaning this base is weak for the experience it gives. In fact, you can do... Any of the uh, 
tower dungeons with a little blue tower, which gives you extra shards. Anyone in here will give you less experience. And even one of the last dungeons in the series hardly gives you any more experience than this dungeon. This dungeon, the third one in, is really, really good for just focus leveling a few certain legendary, your legendaries, a single legendary hero. And so I'm going to do that. I'm going to run this dungeon five times because I need this druid to be higher level. Mama's using is not the best base for Hereby Monsters. Okay? It is a good base. It is a great base. However, it's not the best base, and it's for sure not the best base for Hereby Monsters C. I have at least three accounts that farm C with worse troops than this, with worse heroes than this, with worse everything than this and it can farm C easy and it can also beat D if you want to hire up all troops Guardian 5 that's why I said Guardians are okay Guardian 5 and all bombs dropped so that's the base we're gonna switch to I'm gonna do high super high speed video here as I reform this base but I'll let you watch live as I reform it and show you the easiest fastest best way to build the God Fuzzy base So as you can see, we're making some progress on the base here. There's basically two spacings around all the buildings between the buildings and the exterior wall. That's what that two-space flower is so nice for. You guys, I'm constantly going to be moving and, and popping those flowers down to show you the spacing, and I actually do that on most of my accounts to help me get all the spacing right. It just makes things a little bit easier and quicker. So some of the notable key elements of this base is that I have all heroes five in a row in a straight line. The reasoning for that is as the Hereby monsters come to the very wide opening, which is also a key signifier of this base, that all five of my heroes will aggro onto the Hereby monster wave. So we're going to show you the rest of this in part two. Part two will be showing you beating Hereby monsters. See, as always, keep it dirty and dirty up. Oh, 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 oh,